Boop. Boop. Could check out these craters. Come on, where are the resources? Sheesh, I don't even care unless... Okay, there. That's actually a patch. Yeah, the resources aren't being cooperative today. Alright, somebody found something. Okay. Okay, still not... Still no good found. patches here, ever. Medium like, none of these are particularly... Oh, and that's a geotherm. Scientific okay. Founded. High levels of iron well, found. that's a lot of iron, and it's gone immediately, so that's not usable. I guess we'll just keep poking around until we find anything. A geothermal vent. That will be useful. Oh, that's usable. Might have to think about it. I think, I think we have to take it, actually. Found. Just so we're not High founded super, super, found. super late. You must be a rather skilled researcher yourself. I couldn't have found a more promising site even with all right, my sell, years sell, of experience. Alright, sell, sell, buy. Super late to all of Shall this, of course, begin? so... It's going to be very difficult to push through all of it. But thankfully, I think we're going to get the high aluminum. Which is maybe kind of important. Ah, here's the carbon. Not good carbon, thankfully, but... A little more iron over here. Had a triangle here. Let's see. So this expansive player... Expanded. Started off reasonably... Except he's got a wind turbine. I don't know what's going on in this game, but that's a lot of power down immediately. I have to say, it feels like these people have played eight mans before, and honestly have less of an idea of what's going to go on in a four-man game. So, we'll just see how it goes. Well, I'd love to get to an upgrade quickly. Unfortunately, this guy already got the good patch of water, because he just got down so fast, and well, that's the benefit of getting down quickly and getting lucky in your scouting. Man! I don't know if you guys can hear that. Somebody's being loud. Hang on. There are a couple of rowdy people in our apartment complex. I'm kind of hoping they're not causing problems right now. Thankfully, this is a good time for it during this auction, because I can sit here and listen. Okay, hopefully we're good. Anyways. Okay, got the auction done. There is still a water patch we can take. It's not a good one by any measure, but eh, it's what there is. So we'll probably head for that. We've got the new claim. May as well start on it, and then we'll add to it in a minute. We've obviously got this geotherm we can also take. We can take this steel mill here as well. We can also push for a quick little extra claim as well. Go ahead and send that toward the water. Let's see. He's already moving into reactors. That really tempts me to move into farms very quickly, quite frankly. I'm delaying my... Oh, come on. I never sent out the mine. That's what's going on here. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I failed to send out a mine at the start of the game. That's ridiculous. But it's costing me... Well, probably the entire game. Let's be honest. But that's what I get. I told you guys I was tired today. It wasn't going to be a good day. Thankfully, I don't think many other people have aluminum up, if any. So at least the price hasn't been going down the whole time. And maybe I'll still be okay. Uh, might want to even grab up another aluminum mine after this, just because nobody has any. And if nobody has any, it's going to be valuable. Well, unfortunately, this is just ridiculous. And look at the price of steel. See, this is why I only built two steel mills, because this guy went for three and then didn't take an aluminum mine. So his only course of action for some time was going to be to sell off steel in order to make money. Blah. I'd love to get a farm down, but I just can't afford it yet until after I upgrade, I think, because I need to hold on to that glass. I need to make sure I've got something going my way first. Mostly this aluminum needs to come on in. I would be in such a good spot if I hadn't screwed up the initial section, but whatever. It's fine, I guess. It's my fault. It happens. Expansive colony expanded. I am kind of tired. Like, let's be honest. It's just, it's, there's no real good excuse for it. I just am tired. I really do want to take a little more aluminum than this, I think. I think I can get away with taking two tiles. Yes, Why? let's upgrade. Do that claim, do that claim, do that claim, and do that claim. The there we go. We can get down to geotherm eventually. Obviously, these two like went straight into power, so it's less of an issue this time. Hopefully, we'll get expanded before too long. We already got the mine sent out, so that's fine. Yeah, that's an acceptable mine to put down. And let's focus on getting these farms up and running before we do anything else this game. Like glass, yeah, potentially going to be an issue, but farms can be worth a lot of money. These pirates, let's just hope that people don't necessarily identify exactly how powerful these pirates might end up being. 
Otherwise, I might have to cancel my farms and move them into water pumps, things like that. It could just be a huge pain, guys. I don't want to put up with it, let's be honest. Uh, how high do I want to go? I can go higher. We can go to 16. Just to protect my own income. It's important. Yep, 20,000 pirates. Let's do it. Oh, man, we're starting to push really, really high on the pirates, guys. That's a little nuts. Let's be honest. Alright, I guess I'm letting it go. Let's see if the pirates actually come down anywhere. I still have a farm going out. Hold on. Can I cancel that? Well, they're not even getting used either, so I guess I'm just going to get pirated, and that's going to be the way it is. 24,000, though. That was a lot to spend on pirates. Whatever. Look, I'm just going to do it. Forget it. It's my own fault, anyways, for putting myself so far behind. I wasn't confident in going Scientific further into that. Yep, he's got a huge lead because of all of this. Let's be honest, it also partially comes down to just the found, and he's going to manage to take all these, which is disgusting. Man, I do get tired of that random element in this game, the found. It just, it makes so much of a difference in the entire game. I saw somebody praising it earlier today, and I was just sitting here going, you honestly just haven't played the game enough, have you? To understand that ah, I can kind of see from an outside perspective why you might think this is good, but to be honest, you're just wrong, so... Expansive colony expanded. I don't have any other way to put it. You're just wrong. Alright, these are built. We're gonna have to deal with giving him all kinds of money in order to get any advantage off of them, unfortunately. That's just more or less the way it is. And we're probably just dead in the water. Uh, I guess I could put a goon squad up here. Probably not the worst idea. I'd love to have this glass that he has, but not really an option, unfortunately. Let's see, what can I do? I can go ahead and buy into glass. He's not going to have any scent to his base anytime soon, so it's not likely to come down anytime soon. So I can buy into it at least for one more upgrade, and that should be okay. And then just mostly wait on the aluminum and steel more. And figure out what else I can do around this map. Things like, I can get down a patent lab next level. I can take a little bit of glass furnaces myself, maybe plan on something like slant drilling. I could take this silicon quarry. Silicon's not worth a small amount of money, for sure. I can pray that these make it on through, and for some reason the pirates don't get dropped because they were taken by one of these two players who aren't paying attention. Expanded. All kinds of things like this are possible. They just aren't particularly likely most of the time. But if this food makes it on through, I'll probably just upgrade, throw down a patent lab and go with it. Also, I think I the ran up against the edge of the map without realizing it initially. I hate those filthy Where are the pirates? Are they on me? They are on me, but at least they missed the first round of food. Can't let these go. Not easily. <sighs> How high are we going to have to drive these? That's the question right now. 10,000 I am totally okay with. Would you please just let them go? I really want to protect my food. Like, my food's already completely under attack right now, and I really, really hate this about the game sometimes. Like, I just have to bid these up constantly. 18,000. There we go. Okay. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Come on. Did I really only get one? One of the three? Fine. Whatever. Now he switched over to silicon. Fine. Well, those three are going to go on in. I guess that I can wait for this next round to finish up and then switch it over to food. Or sorry, to water. And he gets all three! He gets all three! Are you serious? Guys, I don't even, I don't even care who you are. That's gross, is what that is. Scientific colony expanded. That's just gross. Unacceptable amounts of randomness in the game sometimes. There. Deal with that. Whatever. And yeah, I'm mad now. Guess what? That happens sometimes when the game just kills you for no good reason. Alright. There's carbon somewhere on the map that we can use. Way down here. 
We can maybe make something of it, especially with teleportation and transition into something else later. There's silicon we can kind of use here. Hey, look, my food got taken again. What a surprise. Glad I had an option there. Whatever. I think I may just put food down right here. We've got water coming in. Water's reasonably expensive. We could be okay. Well, the pirates are gone, so apparently that was useless. And they got so much food so quickly that they just disappeared anyways, because they captured as many as they possibly could, as fast as they possibly could. That's balanced for you. Get a geotherm up. I don't even care about the rest of this game at this point. For such a disgusting thing to happen. It's too much randomness. Some more competition left. Oh, my pirates are gone. His silicon is still great, of course. What do I even want to do? I don't want to do anything. That's the point. I want to honestly just leave the game and start over. Is where I'm at right now. Okay, we've almost got this done. We're going to have to push for something like slant drilling, potentially. Asimov's going after me, of course. Bradbury's just sitting on a ridiculous amount of cash because he doesn't have to do anything but sit on a ridiculous amount of cash after pirates like that. All right, there's that. Scrap all these. More pirates? Wonderful! Yeah, you two kill each other for all I care. Too risky to put it here, unfortunately. The best I could steal is this. So that's what I think we're going to do. Nope. Goodbye. Oh well. We tried. We tried. It just wasn't going to work out today, unfortunately. Well, at least we're pirate immune now, and the glass is coming in quickly. Hopefully we can kill his glass transition before much comes of it. These are still making a ridiculous amount of money, even paying for silicon, because silicon's just not worth all that much. Let's go ahead and get this carbon down. I've been debating it the whole time. I think I've just decided that, yeah, I need to go ahead and do it. I really, really, really... would like to not be in quite so much debt, quite frankly, but that hasn't really been an option for me this game, so... Guess I won't worry about it too much. We'll try and get to slant drilling, then I really need to start buying my own stock. Quite badly, actually. These farms should come online before long. Another upgrade would also be absolutely fantastic, just so I could get into a couple more farms. Because those have been incredible all game long, quite frankly. Uh, 20,000 is a big push, though. Big, big, big push for that. I don't know if we can make it happen. Mm-hmm. I do have one of my own stock. Okay. Now, if he's not going after me actively right now, then I think we'll try and push for the upgrade. By selling off food, selling off some aluminum since they just upgraded. We've got carbon income coming in now, too. Uh, not even those farms. We're actually headed for slant drilling, so let's not take those farms. Let's do something like that. That's pretty good. We can maybe add a steel mill right here. Shouldn't cost us too much. We could add a carbon quarry down here and maybe transition it into something else later if we want to. Now that steel mill's not going to do as well as I was hoping, but whatever. And we do have the option of chem labs down here as well. Especially once slant drilling is done, they'll do very, very well down here. Even with the price of carbon. Oh, chem surplus. I guess we'll make an engineering lab instead. That can work. We could go hacker array. Always something nice to say about the hacker array. Pretty much. Sell glass down. Start buying up myself before my stock goes too high. Should be okay. We can also consider a buy on Herbert. He's in kind of a weak position, and that might be an option. Glass is still doing just fine. Slant drilling's done. Let's take us some nanotech. And I can start looking quite seriously at... A bunch of different things, including electronics, quite frankly. Instead of this glass here before long, electronics definitely an option. Uh, power consumption, not too worried about. We can let that go fairly cheap, and I'm not going to care. 
This food is all doing just fine. Let's look around. Glass, still okay, but not great. Something I need to be concerned about. Buying up my own stock again. Okay, okay, okay. What all can we do? Not chems. Could just throw down extra carbon down here, quite frankly. And then transition it into something else a little bit later. Upgrading food production is an option. I'm really tempted to upgrade electronics production, though. And then maybe chem production. Like, just focus on those two big late-game things and see if I can make them work. I can get out of all of this. I'm planning on carbon scrubbing at some point, maybe. So I don't know if I needed to take these in particular. But they could still work. Uh, water would not be a bad thing right now, I think. Like, food is good. Oh, water just came down a little bit. We're fine. Uh-huh. Let's do some of that. It's probably not the best idea, but it was something to do. So I went with it. Okay. Carbon's still okay. Let's sell out of the rest of this glass. Get rid of all this. Go ahead and move into our electronics production. It's not great electronics production, but it'll have to do. Upgrade it again. Sell off the little oxygen we have for whatever reason. And do I just leave these farms up? Which is definitely an option. Or do I transition into something like water? Do I transition into something like oxygen? Those are basically my options here. Let's hit carbon scrubbing. I haven't checked off-world prices yet this game. It's something I should always remember to do at the start of the game. They're awful. So that's unfortunate. Off-worlds are not a particularly good option in any way. Let's get out of these. Let's go ahead and throw down our chem labs. Because fuel is very, very cheap. And let's go ahead and transition these into reactors, I think, which should make a fair amount of money. They're not great, though, is the thing. Water pump might be better. None of them are all that good, quite frankly, is the problem. We could improve our oxygen production. We could improve our electronics production a little bit more here. The steel production is still okay. It's holding at, you know, the distinct level of not absolutely terrible at this point. Okay, chems are coming online before long. We are consuming a fair amount of carbon uh, right yeah. now, but works for me. Start buying on into Herbert. Let's see, where can I actually make money? It's just such a weird question, this game. Where is there money to be made? Oxygen kind of works. Whoa. That's interesting that Asimov sold stock and made it easier for him to buy himself, get bought up. Power, I guess, is doing all right, but it just pays off debt for the time being, so I'm not even really concerned about it. The chems are coming in, which is going to be good money, potentially. Chems. Herbert, yeah, go ahead, enjoy. Nobody cares. We really need to get this buy to happen. If we can pull that off, then we might still be okay this game. But that's really what has to happen very quickly. There we go. It's another one. Because otherwise, Bradbury's just going to literally run away with the whole thing. Okay, Patent Lab, I think we've gotten most of the use we can out of you. Might need to transition you into even an off-world, quite frankly. They're not all that expensive, so even though they're not all that good, it gives us kind of security later in the game. So I'm going to go with it. Let's see, let's upgrade chem production, because that's where the real money is right now. These three chem labs. I could even move into just more chem labs. It also jacks up the price on fuel, unfortunately, and our opponent has quite a lot of fuel production, but it's still an option while we push for this buy very, very quickly. Whoa, that steel price. All right, glad I still have steel production down. Decent steel production, too. Power is starting to get a little nuts on me. I've got two of it coming in a second, but I apparently need significantly more with all of these buildings online, so that's something to keep in mind. I guess I did move into a bunch of reactors, things of that nature. I've got that engineering lab running, which makes a pretty significant difference. So maybe we upgrade power next. Maybe we just keep upgrading chems. Uh, aluminum got nice and pricey, like we expected it to for a while. Okay, $49,000 is going to be the target. We've got the... Uh, there it is. Bam, the buy. Now, Bradbury has a lot of money. What we need to do is buy into our own stock before it gets too terribly expensive. We've got this online. We can start shipping glass with it, and that's okay. Chems are actually okay as well, but chems are obviously super expensive on world. So that's not so beneficial right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish buying up my own stock first, I think. And then I'll transition into trying to do something with him. Now, we also have our territory we need to fix up. 
Who has 2k water? I don't know what we're talking about right now. There we go. Okay. Let's upgrade water production, because water production is pretty decent. Everything, like, everything we have here is actually not too bad, realistically. It's, it's not great, but the territory itself got kind of patched up. Now, what I need to worry about is power also. Power starting to leak away from me. That's going to consistently hurt my stock price. And it's definitely something I need to do something about. Stupid auction here. Where is it? Way down in that corner. I'm not sure I even care. I guess I guess I can do something with it. I don't have to do much with it at all. Yeah, let's just put a silicon quarry there. It might pay off that amount of money by the end. Hopefully it won't matter because it's debt. And hopefully that debt won't cause us too many problems. Now I do have this glass furnaces here. That really shouldn't be. I could drop a pleasure dome. Power's kind of expensive, though. Maybe I'll just go ahead and drop a couple solar panels. We'll send some more glass off-world, because that's pretty decent. We have two claims left as well that I could do something with. Could go into more power. This is all fine, relatively speaking. Could just throw down a little more silicon around this tile. Definitely an option. More chems, actually. Might be the best option. Let's just add to our chem production. It's good production. Chems are good off-world. Why not make an effort at it? All right, he's got more money. We have the better stock position. It's probably going to come down to things like black market use. Who's actually making the most money with the most stuff. He has chem production down as well. He does not have carbon scrubbing, which is a good reason to leave that price high. He's moving into a bunch of farms. Shut all that down the best we can. Did get attacked on our off-world. Shouldn't be any big surprise whatsoever. Let's go ahead and buy just a little more glass and send it. Chems are starting to look better. We may need to actually, it might have been a bad idea to throw down all these chems. They're still making us decent money because of our research, but not as good as one would hope. Let's see. I don't know where his power is, or if he even has very much. I could attack this here, but I'll probably just hand the dynamite right back to him. How much do I actually need to finish off the game? 525. I'm currently about halfway there. Not quite halfway. Starting to get there. I think we'll just keep pumping away on what we've got and see if we can finish the game off that. Steel still not doing bad. Like, nothing we're doing is really bad money. I would like to protect this, and unfortunately, I think I bought the... the item just a little bit late. Should have gone into thinking machines if I wanted to make all this happen this game. Oh, well. Uh, we can redefend. That's fine. There. Okay. What's something we could actually dynamite of his effectively? We could maybe blow up some of his power. Eh, it's doing decent. Why not? We can upgrade chems again. We can upgrade carbon production again. His electronics, yeah, they're still losing money. That's fine. We can even do some of this if we want to, because I don't think he has... Oh, he has some carbon income. We'll need to be careful about this. Maybe we just sell it off. Maybe we do just sell it off and let the electronics sit there. We can also just tank the price on electronics and help out with that. Buy a little more glass. Send a little more glass. That's fine. Need to be careful with this, but it's okay for now. Need to especially be careful with it because he is making glass in particular, and we are not. So that is something to watch out for. Could upgrade. What do I want to do? I guess I could just upgrade glass and start making it. Do I need to keep upgrading things in general, though? I think we've taken the lead at this point, which is good, because it's going to cost him more money to buy us than us to buy him. Yep, well, we could just try this. We're not surprised. Yep. Just That's what I expected. He actually has one up as well. We're not and hits defended. Okay. That's fine. We got ours up first. We need to get out of this chem production. It's almost certainly kind of going to become problematic before long. We could drop glass here. We could drop electronics here. We could drop anything here, and it's about the same. We could even just do something really crazy. Like, get out of all this and be like, power everywhere. Pay off our debt. Why not? I am a little worried about this off-world, which is going to get blown up before long. Kind of a problem. Let's see. Let's go ahead and send up some food. That should be good. We could move this into food. Where do you have food down here? These? Are these losing money? Not quite. Everything's just kind of eh. And off-worlds are just so bad, this game. It's a very awkward little game. With everything just being so... Ah, uh, whatever. You know? I don't know why everything is so... Whatever. But it is this game. It's just...
like, ah, oh, that's kind of okay money. It's just not good money at all. Does he have a second off-world up? Shoot, he does. Okay. I didn't think we'd have to actually put up two off-worlds this game, but I might have been totally wrong about that, and we might need to push to another one. We're only about 100,000 away from ending, is the thing. But an off-world doesn't really cost much to put up. So it might be good insurance just to drop another one, which means deleting some kind of claim. There is a fuel shortage. We'll have to watch that carefully. Obviously, we have an insane amount of fuel, so... We can't buy into it at all, but we can certainly do something like there. Hopefully he was trying to take advantage of it and it failed. Uh, do we need to turn these off? What can these be? What can these be? I mean, chems are an option. We just we have options, but none of them feel good Pirates. still. I hate Let's see. Filthy bandits. Did he regoon this? Nope. Works for me. Let's get out of all this. Come on. Out of it. There we go. Go ahead and get our mines down. Yep, he blew it up again. That's okay, hopefully. We can go ahead and repair. What are we pushing for? 620. We're currently at about 550. So we're making good progress. We're just not quite there yet. Chems are starting to come back up a little bit. We're not making them, so that makes a lot of sense. And silicon's doing well. What else can we do? What else can we do to actually make money? Well, electronics just went way down. We could just up the glass production like I talked about. There's seriously an iron surplus right now. All right, fine. Whatever. There's an iron surplus, I guess. Back to Kim's. Is he still making electronics? Yes, he is. We can kind of destroy the price on those, make sure he's losing money. Because we aren't losing money. And that's at least better than losing money. All right, food's still good. Send more food. How are we doing? Getting there. It shouldn't be too long before we finish this one up. Unfortunately, prices just suck. And off-world suck. And there's really no two ways about that. It just kind of is the way it is, unfortunately. Well, he blew up the off-world, but guess what? Don't care. They're so cheap to repair, too. It's ridiculous. All right. Get out of these. Go ahead and move into these. Hopefully that last transition will be all we have to do to actually finish the stupid game. 652,000 is now what we're looking at. He doesn't have any more debt to pay off, though, so... We need to do something with this. This could just go into carbon production, actually, most of it. That'd probably be fine. Why are we making so much power? How much do we upgrade power? Oh, I guess a lot. Never mind. Makes sense. Yeah, sure, why not? This can also go into carbon. Still making chems somewhere. Up here? Yes? Good? Okay, that's fine. Uh, that should do it just by now. There. Wretched start. Wretched start, completely. But, you know, we got it done. Kind of an awkward game. Prices stayed super low, off-worlds were garbage. I really wish off-worlds were less consistent. Like, I wish off-worlds were more consistent, right? I wish they were less garbage more consistently. It's kind of what I'm aiming for. Enron got off to an awful start, and that clearly showed through the entire rest of his game. Don't plant a geotherm at HQ level 1. Binbin got off to a slightly better start, had a clue what was going on, but never really got into the game until super late. Like, Asimov, he was doing better. He was doing better, right? He had an idea of what was going on. It just took him a while to really get into it, is what it felt like. Just like it took us a while. Evil Diablo Inc., he had the lead. It was his game to lose, and he lost it. I think it just came down to late game. We had the engineering labs, and he didn't. But yeah, scientific late game with slant drilling and nanotech, exactly. It's pretty good. Like, we had... We played for the late, where we got the engineering lab, and we got the patent lab. And so, we won in the late, right? It was, it was that simple. In a lot of ways, it was actually that simple. Okay. I'm going to host another one. We'll go ahead and host a six-man this time, just because more people have shown up. Maybe the six-man will fill before too long.